Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy, when last we left off, we were in Minas Tirith. And we were talking to Pethabir here. We had discussed the whole situation. We knew we needed to go to talk to Lothiriel, who was Boromir's betrothed, Boromir's fiance, apparently. And we have to go to the Great Hall of Dol Amroth and uh, let her know about the poor misfortune, unfortunate thing that has happened with her uh, betrothed, or her fiancé. So that is what we're going to do now. We are going to leave, um, leave the library of Dol Amroth for the first time in well over a year. I think it's been 12, 13 months that we've been inside the library there. So let us go out and breathe some fresh air and sunshine. Because Lord knows there's been plenty of times in my past where I could easily have spent a year inside of a library. That's not anything unusual for me whatsoever. But as the saying goes these days, sometimes you got to go outside and touch grass. And I do a lot of that these days with my little puppers. Okay, come on, folks. Oh, everything just loads in so slow, especially when you're in a place like, like Dole Amroth. Okay, let's see where we have got to go. We are headed straight ahead, I do believe. Um, not even sure we're Court of the Prince. Is that where we're headed? Are we headed to the Court of the Prince? I think we are headed over that way, aren't we? Yep, there it is over there. So now we just got to find out where we are. Scholar's Quarter. That sounds like a, a reasonable place to to imagine that the uh, to imagine a reasonable place to imagine that the the library would be. Okay, so up this ramp. Hmm, such a. Mm, there is another quest over there. Should we want to get it? We'll see how it goes. Shall see. Well, I don't really get a lot of a lot of gaming time these days, and when it does, I'm staying on. I'm playing on a dwarf and doing mining, killing bugs. <laughs> but I have been hankering to play Lord of the Rings, hankering to get back into the game. I tried to last week and just didn't get around to it because they were having their sixth anniversary. Um, sixth anniversary event going on. Y'all just aren't even gonna stop us. Not even gonna stop us with your with your porn stash there, are you? I was playing some Doom earlier. It's fine. When you see me come up to a door and jump, I'm hitting the space bar trying to open the door. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Look at all the, the swan swan pictures. I don't know if we've been here before. Mmm, it is quite pretty. I don't know if we've ever been in here before, but if we haven't, it is quite lovely. It has been a while. Did they actually have swan? They actually have swans swimming around in here also. And I know that this whole thing with Minas Tirith was after the game had, had uh, decreased a bit. After the whole, the whole, uh, the popularity of the game had decreased a good amount. And, you know, they had, is this where the actual throne is? I'm thinking maybe the actual throne is up here. Maybe this is the steward's chair. I'm not really sure. Great Hall of the Prince. No, oh, there we go. That's the that's the the throne, and the steward's chair beside them. Okay, that's it. Lethiriel, hello, Lethiriel. I'm I'm sorry. I have to bring you some terribly bad news, my friend. Um, let's go ahead and chat with you and let you know what's up. You do, you, you, uh, Boromir did have a very a very uh attractive fiance book one 
Chapter 10, Keepers of the History. You have returned. Why do you appear so sorrowful? What is wrong? You have returned from the library archives, Narlo. Have you learned anything that will help us defend against the attacks of Umbar? Why do you appear so sorrowful? What is wrong? Oh, so we've talked to you before, have we? Okay. There's no easy way to give such tidings as you have of Boromir, but you do the best you can, and ethereal that he fell in battle protecting those who could not protect themselves. Her face betrays a confused mixture of emotions. I do not know what to say, Narlo. Boromir was a good man. He always had my love and my respect, and would I've, I would have married him for Gondor. His father, the steward, dreamed of the triumph of the kingdom, and in that dream I was a garlanded queen in Minas Tirith, beneath a fair and golden sun. My father, too, had a similar dream. He dreamt that I was in a high place, wearing a golden crown. The ethereal wiped the dampness in her eyes with the back of her sleeve. I mourned for my cousin, Narlo, and for Gondor. I was unhappy with the marriage match, but now that he is gone, I am sad for his passing, glad that he attained glory, and angry for my relief. I do not know how I feel. Yeah, I, I will grieve so at another time, for now I must be strong. Book 1, Chapter 11, The Swan Knights While my father is away, I must rule in Dol Amra. I do not have the time to come to terms with this loss, Narlo. I will grieve at another time and reconcile my feelings in. For now, I must be strong. By the set of her jaw, you see that Lothiriel is resolved and the strength of her father is in her. I sent forth the Swan Knights for two purposes. One was the purpose of a ruler to ensure the safety of her people. The other purpose was that of a rebellious child acting out against the wishes of her father in the only way that she could. That purpose I regret. Now is the time for the Swan Knights to return to Dol Amra, for I have need of them if we are to survive the menace of Umbar and these heirs of Castamir. Travel first to the beacon on Amon Nuntir, east of the city, and tell Nedros to return. He is the nearest Swan Knight and is advanced in age, but it has not decreased his skill one measure. Travel then to the beacon of... Megond in Lemadon. Halidir is the knight I sent to Lemadon, and he is also brave of heart. Hmm. Good copy. The last of the knights I sent forth is named Rovalan, and he will be somewhere in the Blackroot Vale. I know not where. So let us go talk to Nedros on Ammon Lantir in Bephalus. That is easy enough. We've still got a ring above here, don't you? Introduction, Central Stop Gondor. Stop the town of Ethring in the Ringlow Vale and tell them what is happening. Since we might be going that way, let's go ahead and grab this just in case, since we will be coming back to her. It is good to see you again, Narlo. Thanks for coming to my aid once more. I grow concerned for the lands to the east, the lands of the Ringlow Vale, Dor in Emerald and Lebanon. Word has spread of war come to the shores in the east, and what folks remain behind are now beset by foes on all sides. I would ask that as you travel through Lamedin to the Ringlow Vale, there you will find the settlement of Ethring, and I am certain the people here there would benefit much from your presence, as we already have. Sure, we'll do that, but first, let's head on out and let's go to Amon Luntir and talk to Nedras. I guess we're always running, aren't we? Once again, been playing so many FPSs lately that I, I'm wanting to... I'm sitting here wanting to hold down shift to run, forgetting that I'm on auto run. I'm already doing that. Alright, so we need to go that way, out the gate. What time is it? Looks like it is getting... it is dawn. Okay, so the sun is coming up. As, as Theoden would say, then the sun rises. I was just trying to see if it was going to be getting dark as we're going out or getting brighter. And fortunately, it's going to be getting brighter. Roving threats. Let's remember we've got those roving threats outside of the city walls. And try not to run into them too much. It is Springfest. 
as you see the spring season instances are going on so I may actually try I haven't done any of the holidays I don't I think spring fest might have been the last one that I had come across back then and I don't think I've done any spring fest since I know I didn't do Halloween I didn't do um, didn't do Christmas, Yule, I missed all the festivals as time went on. We're just following that circle because I am really not sure how to get out of this town. <laughs> it has been a while. Ah, so there we are. Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can get out of Dol Amrath here. Um, I think there's an exit. Yeah, there's an exit back over there. But Springfest is here, and while we don't do the mazes and stuff, I may do some of the others. See if we can put a few levels of XP on good old Narlo here. And get back to figuring out what we were doing. I may have to go back and watch the last few episodes here as we entered into, uh, entered into Volume 4, I believe where we are yeah volume four the road to gondor and try and remind ourselves where we are and how we got here is that my milestone coming back to dol amroth yes we're told return to dol amroth good to know okay so now we need to find amon lantier Let's see where it might be on the map. Do they have it listed? Is that Amon Lantier? All right, so it is the hill to our east on toward uh, the, the deeper parts of Gondor and toward Minas Tirith. Let's go on up and actually, oh, let's remember we have a mount. Just remember we can get on a steed. We don't have to keep walking everywhere. I it's been a while. We have not played in a while. Forgetting stuff like how to open doors. Forgetting things like that we have a horse we can get on. We can travel a little quicker here. In fact, I think there was a I'm pretty sure there was a uh, stable perhaps that we could have climbed to the top of the hill with, but all right, so we don't want to go there. We want to go to the east until we get to the first exit. All right, let's go down through the interstate here. Forgetting that we have steeds, forgetting we have stables. I think we actually could probably have ridden a stable ride up there. I think there might have been one. Does this go that way? It looks as if it does, doesn't it? I want to try not to fight anything along the way. I'm not into not into trying to gain XP that way. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, it feels good to be back in Middle Earth again. It feels nice. It feels feels like coming home. It always does. And say, just like in in Truck Sim, whenever I say I've got to get that head tracker reconnected, I've got to to get back to to uh, doing collecting crafting materials and doing my crafting someday, you know. I'm not thinking that was the actual way of getting up here. I think there was an actual road. Yep, there's an actual path that led up this way, but you know. This is just as nice. Let's take the scenic route and have a little have a little prettiness, shall we? Okay. There is one of the beacons. Let's go on up and take a look at it. Is the the Swan Knight on the beacon there? Is that where he is? Is he standing up here on it? I guess having lit it, perhaps. Amon Lontier. That is quite the 
quite the fire, the double-tiered fire there. Yeah, look at the beacons going off into the distance. Hello. Nedron, let's dismount and uh, talk to you for a moment. We bring a, a message. I will return, but there is something I must tell you first. We are under attack. You say that Lothriel has commanded my return to the city. I will return, of course, but there's something I must say to you first, young one. Nedra laughed sharply. You have interrupted me during a brief lull in the battle, my timely new friend. I routed a group of Corsair raiders, but they are certain to return. Indeed, I hear them approach once more. Fight alongside Nedros on Amon Lontir. Sure! They return. And with allies. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see if we remember how to do this. There we go. I think that gives us our... Gives us our... Um... Huh. It would help if I'm facing the guy I'm fighting, wouldn't it? I think that was... Detect weakness there, is it not? Yes, reveal weakness. Cool. I'm glad. That I still remember how uh, not to fight very well. That's always encouraging. Oh, before I actually get into a solo fight, I'm going to have to take on a few. You have defeated the Corsair Raiders. And now... We have victory. Now return to Dol Amra. As Lothariel commands. And now Nedros can return. Too many things to read on a screen at one time, you know? Alright, Nedros can return. So now we need to... Talk to Neladir by the beacon of Magond in Lamadon. All right. So we will do that next. Let's mount up again. I love my Shire horse. Although we pulled up the steed of the burglar for some reason. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and loot all. Yes. Um, I'm going to go down here, see if there is, is there a vendor in here perhaps? I'm going to take a peek into this place, see if there's a vendor. As I said, I think there was actually a stable we could have rode here. I'm pretty sure. But I'm going to get rid of some of my, I'm going to do a little inventory management. And I will be with y'all in just a second as we ride back out of town. I do enjoy having the pause button here on OBS. It is quite a nice way to be able to... to uh, Take a break like that for a moment. It's like, okay, I need to do a little shopping. Let's get that done, and then we will continue on without having to stop and go, okay, now which one of these is the one that I needed to be on? I'm trying to figure out which, which video files that I need to stitch back together. I only had to find the one. And as I say, fortunately, it sits, since it saves it in MKV, save it in the MKV format, if things go bad, I don't lose my file as well, which, as there y'all know, happens to me from time to time. I'll have recording problems, and the next thing you know, I've got, a, I've got an unusable file over in Deep Rock Galactic, one of the problems with that. Let's see, is he going to be on the next one, or is he going to be on that one? We'll find out. One of the problems on Deep Rock Galactic, in fact, it was the first time that Mind Fiend and I managed to defeat the caretaker on on third level, on hazardous level three, and defeated the caretaker. One hell of a fight came down. He was down, or I was down. One of us was down, 
and the other one had just a few hit points left and was getting nailed on and managed to kill the caretaker um, with just a skin of our teeth left. And of course, it didn't save it. Of course, the, the file got corrupted, so we weren't able to... I wasn't able to, to have it um, as a record of it. And it's a shame because it was such a beautiful battle. Such a beautiful battle. No longer a problem. MKV saves everything and there's no no footer at the end that it has to write in order to to be able to to read the file so no more issues with that thank god looks like we're going for the far one over there she really did send the swan knights off for a distance didn't she so i'm looking forward to doing some of the spring fest stuff here it has been a while since I did that. I can't even remember, other than the, the maze, other than the maze with the, all the, the stuff like the, the hunt for, for lost elves and the hunt for chickens inside the, the uh, inside the, uh, inside the maze. I can't remember what it is that the Springfest entails. So that's going to be interesting. I'm wondering, it's like, is there any fishing involved? Do we have fishing? Am I going to get to do that? Let's see. Let's go here. Do we have... It does not look like we have a route up to it. I may have to go up this way. We might be needing to go up that way to get up it. Up that, that looks like a ramp over here. Let's give it a try. What the hell is that? Some kind of a drake? An avenging Avang. I do remember the name Avangs in the past. It's been a long time since we fought any, but I do remember that name. Get on past these hearts and hinds and goats. And see if we can find the path up here to it. And pass that guy too. If we keep going, we should be able to outrun him long enough that he'll eventually get tired and rubber band back. This is not EverQuest after all. They are not going to just continue fighting us forever and training us to the zone. He's already gotten tired. Alright, entering Lamadon. And looking for the path up to the Beacon Hill here. Can we see Dol Amrath from here? Looks like it's down there. Is that where it is? Is that Dol Amrath? I think that's Dol Amrath right down there. I think we were looking at the... Looking at the uh, port of it. Discovered Magon. Alright. Hmm. And some guards here, it looks like. Alright. Well, weren't we supposed to find this guy here on this hill? Didn't they say he was here? Yeah, by the beacon of Magong. So you, when it means by, it doesn't mean actually by the beacon. It means you were too damn tired to climb up here, weren't you? Well, at least we got to meet the the uh, guards of the beacon there. That was nice. One of them was quite lovely. And so was the lady. Okay, let's go over here. Who am I going to have to fight with you? Are we gonna have to fight as well? I'm sure we are. I will return, but know this. I think a foe hides atop the hill of the beacon. 
Lothario wishes for me to return to the city, I will do so at once. If you have a taste for adventure, friend, you might travel up the hill to scout the beacon. I was just atop the hill, but saw no one, though I felt a watching presence. I think someone might be up there now, hiding from me. If you climb the hill now, but quietly... Hey, you're talking to a burglar, friend. You might surprise a hidden villain. I think you should do so, my friend. Well, let's see. Is this going to be quiet enough for you? Let's see what we can find up that hill. So find the hidden villain near the beacon of Magon. Sure, we'll do that. And we have so many freaking... So many freaking levels of like sneak and stuff like that. That we actually move just as fast and sneak as if we were walking or running or anything else. No longer got that creep, 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 creep. Although it is also... Corsair raiders have scaled the hill in secret. Defeat their leader to demoralize them. Sure, where is he at? Where is their leader at? He is right there. All right, fantastic. Let's find his weakness. Let's divert him. And then let's stab him in the butt. Okay, very good. I'm gonna go ahead, take him out. I wonder if we take him out, do the others break and run? Yes, they do. You defeated the leader near Magon and his demoralized his allies who have taken off. All right, fantastic. So I'm assuming we have to go back and talk to him now. Huh? Oh, another leader? What are you doing here? How many of y'all leaders are there? This is definitely a case with too many people, too many managers. This is why I work night shift. Too much managers. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to find and talk to Rovalang somewhere in the Black Root Vale. There we go, Steed of Mickle Delving. Let's get the right one up this time. So we're going to the Black Root Vale, are we? So where's the Black Root Vale? Over in Central Gondor? Amadon? Let's turn this one off. Let's turn that one off. Where is the Black Root Vale? Oh, the Black Root Vale's up yonder. It's so way to the north. Way up to the north. Alrighty, well, let's see if we can get there. In fact, we may even pull up. We may even pull up our Rohan. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's let's dismount. Which I don't remember how to do. Let's pull up our battle steed, our war steed. So we can go a little bit quicker here. And get this trip underway. If we can do it without falling off cliffs. Oh, that hurt. Ouch. That smarted a bit. Trying to get back onto the road. Without running through too many warbands and without attracting the attention of every damn um, aggroable animal on the path. Now, as soon as we get out of combat here with Keeley, as soon as nothing's aggroing on us any longer, I 
think that may have happened. Let's pull up our map and take a look where the hell we're going. We're going to keep on going out the... Nope, Blackroot Vale is to the north. We are going the wrong direction. Why is that one showing us that? Because it does say, fine, talk to him somewhere in the Blackroot Vale. So why is the... Why is that pointing this way? Ah, introduction, Central Gondor. That's why that is. We need to set this one as the... Uh-uh. We need to set this one as the focus, don't we? And how do we do that? There we go. Showing quest log. Set as quest guide focus. Dang. It has been a while. And y'all remember, I never liked playing with the quest guide. I always like trying to find things on my own, but that's... We said that's not... Not what these later states of the games were were designed for, unfortunately. They are actually designed for you to have the quest tracker and the quest focus up and point you in the correct direction. Although that's one that we should have been able to figure out on our own. That the Blackroot Veil is up there. Why are we running this way? Skulkmire. The Warband Skulkmire. What are we going to do? Ignore that as best we can. So I'm saying hopefully I can figure out how there is... What kind of... Um, what kind of quests there are? Yep, and we turn here. What kind of quests there are for the Spring Fest that don't involve going through a damn hedge maze. As y'all noticed during the, the Halloween, the Haunted Burrow events, I don't do the corn maze either. I'm not into mazes. I did so many damn mazes as a, a young gamer. Playing things like the D&D Gold Box games and uh, Bowders and all these. <clears throat> all these games in the past that were. Uh, that involved lots of mazes. Because God did they. That was the. The stock and trade of RPGs, computer RPGs back in the day. Let's throw a maze on them. Now entering Tarling's Crown. Hmm. Another guy with a quest over his head, but let's see if we can get on past them. As we head on into the Blackroot Vale here, looks like more lad will be further up the road. We must have come down this way. Is what it does look like. Ooh, look at all these raiders. And we have to ride right through the damn center of, apparently. And all these other guys that we have to ride right to the damn center. Why do we have to run through all these people? Is this the only path to Morlad? Is through the Hound Masters and stuff? Is there not any other way of, of getting up this road without going through every little encampment? Oof, I am really thinking we are headed into the wrong area here. All these fell trolls and all. I'm thinking that this is quite possibly not the route we were supposed to have gone on. Although it does seem to be the road. Did I manage to sneak and, and get around all these guys? Did I do something like that? Yeah, this is the road to the, the Blackroot Vale. It just seems that it has been pretty much taken over by the Corsairs. Let's see if we can get through them as much as possible. Hang on in there, Keeley. 
Once I put my uh, knife away, you'll be able to heal up again, pal. And so will I. All right. Let's dismount and load up again. I'm glad that we were actually on our war steed for once. He had all the the ability. He had the 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 hit points and the endurance to hang out with us. It's a lovely land here. It's been quite the pretty. Quite the pretty path along the along the the trail. I'm wondering if we even came down this way. Did we come this way, or did we happen to uh, ride ride a a uh, convenient a convenient um, stable ride, perhaps? Let's take a look see where we're going yep we need to continue on up the hill and it will be should be fairly obvious when we get there I do believe oh look at that beautiful mountain up ahead of us they've always had such beautiful beautiful terrain I would love to be like oh back in the the first day when I was playing first days remember the first few months when I was on my dwarf Heglanorin and was was wandering about and I would just you know the the fact the way I found the snowman and all the other stuff back in the day when I would just wander up into the hills you know you got the map wasn't filled in for you um yep I'm gonna be telling you kids to get the hell off my lawn now back in the day when the map wasn't filled in for you you had to actually explore and fill in the map. I think this goes over there to that. Yep, we want the next one. You actually had to explore to fill in the map area, and you got you would you would get the the areas the exploration deeds would just pop up naturally that way because you were were filling things in. That uh, looks like that must be more lad there. You would get the exploration deeds accomplished just because you would be up in the hills there, wandering around and looking what you could find. Like over there in, in Anuminus. Like in the areas of Anuminus where it's it's uh Let's dismount. Yep, we're in more lad. Where's our dismount? I need to learn what my dismount hotkey is as well. And who are we talking? Find and talk to Revelangs somewhere in the Black Root Vale. Well, apparently, he's up here in more lad. Have we got you already? How may I help you? Yeah, we've already got your stable master. So we have explored here, but God knows where. I have no idea where, how, I, I, I have, I said, I wonder if I found that stable master, and then maybe she had a ride over to Dole Amroth, because I'm almost certain I did not go riding through all that. Is he up there with the Stone of Urlach? Is that where he is? Is he up here perched on the rock? Let's see. I think he is. I think he's up here the the, the up on by the stone of Erlock if I remember Erlock or whatever if I remember the name correctly. Yeah, you know, one of these days I've got to get back into crafting. Eric. Stone of Eric. That's the name I'm looking for. And we're not gonna be able to make that hill, are we? Nope. We're gonna have to actually go around and and find the proper route up. To find the actual path that leads up that way. We can avoid breaking our legs and our horses. Sorry, Keeley. Trying to find a, a way of getting up here, my friend. 
my loyal steed. And you're going to remain loyal to me if I keep bashing you up like this? dead. Alright, so that is not the way we're going. Loyal horse. Hmm. What is this? Is this what I'm looking for? Are you one of these guys that just appears? Rovalang, yeah. Are you one of the ones that appears and disappears and changes your name as you go along? You are a very interesting looking dude, fella. You are indeed. Let's get back to book one, chapter 11, The Swan Knights. I will return to the city, but I cannot abandon the Blackroot Vale just yet. You have returned, my friend, and with a message. Oh, so I've spoken to you before, too. Good grief. Well, do not tarry in its delivery, for I have an urgent matter of my own to resolve. Rovalang listens to your message. I will return to the city as Lethiriel commands, but I cannot abandon the Blackroof Vale just yet. A great evil has come south, and I cannot leave the people of the Vale at its mercy. In form, it took the shape of a great winged beast, and it flew out of the north, passing over the mountains. It circled over Erek for a time, and then passed low over Morlad. I saw it only moments before you arrived, passing low in the direction of the mountains. Rovalang seems unaware of the nature of this evil, but you know it by the winged beast it rides, and have seen its kind before, Nazgul. If this creature learns of Aragorn's passage and the army of the dead that follows him, so too will the great enemy learn of it. The Nazgul must be defeated. Okay. Well... Huh? You have heard of this winged creature. I can see it in your eye. Book 1, Chapter 12, and we've just leveled up. Are we 105 now? We are 105 now. You have heard of this winged creature, Narlo. I can see it in your eye. Will you help me find it and keep it from harming the people of the Vale? You nod in agreement. If the Nazgul learns that Aragorn commands an army of the dead, much harm might be done to the desperate hope that drives him, and to the people that depend on him. Well, let us go at once. If you have a fellowship at your call, bring them along as well. There will be danger enough for all, but now let us chase this foe. I saw it fly in the direction of the haunted cave to the northwest. Perhaps we can bring it down if we hurry. Talk to Novalang and face the Shadow of Morthong. All right, so legendary item, reward track, all that kind of stuff. I bet this takes us into one where interlude those who are dead. Chapter. It is my duty to face this creature. We will face it together. I do not know what creature it might be, but I know it's my duty to face it. Well, that is where we are going to stop. This is probably one of those, hopefully one of those, where it says if you have a fellowship, bring them. It makes me think that hopefully this is one of those along the epic quest here that that you go along and you can play it as a solo. It gives you the whole solo and the inspiration bonus and all. So we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, we are going to sit here and enjoy our little break. So there you are, back in. Back in Middle-earth once more here. I did not ex anticipate camping out on the hill of Erech. I did not anticipate that I would be here and planning on chasing after Nazgul. So we will see you next time. Thanks for coming along and bye-bye.